Okay, so this is incredibly exciting and crazy news. This is huge, in my opinion, for potential mass adoption. Um, Andreas Antonopoulos, one of the probably foremost experts on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, has often said the biggest issue with this space is that there's the, for more mass adoption, it has to be easier to tra- more on and off ramps. It has to be easier to buy crypto. It has to be easier to use crypto. Right here, U.S. Crypto Exchange signs agreement to offer fiat crypto trading to corporate clients. So this means that one of the large exchanges is going to be able to actually, what they've been doing is they've been, you can get Bitcoin basically and send it to them or other cryptocurrencies you can send it to them, but they've not allowed you to basically, like, like Coinbase, for example. With Coinbase, you can deposit actual cash on Coinbase. And, but they don't necessarily allow you to, um, uh, and you can use the cash and trade it from USD to BTC, Bitcoin or Ether on Coinbase, but they don't allow you to do that on other network, other exchanges. They'll use something called USD Tether, which is another cryptocurrency basically designed to hold the value of the dollar. And that's a whole other separate issue of whether it actually does or not. However, this is huge. This is saying there's another major crypto exchange allow to trade in dollars this makes it easier right now coinbase is almost the only game in town they're at the very least the easiest game in town for u.s investors but check it out another own ramp guess what the exchange is if you don't know it is bitrex so this is huge bitrex is a huge exchange so you can read through this article i'll link it below but i mean some of the things they say is Fascinating. Evidently, they've been working on this for a while. The CEO said that it's been a long path. They really do look at everything and pour through the entire business. They want to make sure that we've got robust um, anti-money laundering, know your customer processes, that we've got the right controls on our finances. They do background checks and everything. They really look at our business soup to nuts. That should be reassuring from a you know standpoint of they're not going to run off with your money ever so to speak that that should be reassuring um it's not just about banks being able to trust bitrix it's about banks being able to trust crypto in general and i think it's really showing that crypto has turned the corner in terms of mainstream exception this is the ceo um the ceo of bitrix is it turned the corner of mainstream acceptance this is huge news The service will initially only be open to corporate customers in the state of Washington, California, New York, Montana, reportedly for regulatory reasons. Bloomberg further reports that Bitrix has plans to ultimately offer current crypto fiat trading to retail customers as well. This is all huge. By the way, in the current climate, crypto exchanges need to work with correspondent banks in order to offer crypto fiat alongside crypto crypto trading on their platforms. Major U.S. crypto exchange Coinbase, for example, has developed relationships with Cross River Bank, Metropolitan Bank, Silvergate Bank, and recently opened an account at UK Bank Barclays. So, by the way, that just shows you how precarious banks can be right here. It mentions this just this week, Poland's largest crypto exchange, BitBay. I actually got an email from them telling me they're moving to Malta. I didn't understand why, but this is why, obviously. They were forced to halt its activities in the country after local banks ceased to cooperate with the company. So let me just cover this. I think overall this is positive. This is amazing news. But sometimes I hear the pro-Bitcoin people saying they can never shut down Bitcoin. Well, they can shut down the blockchain. But if the federal government ever came in and made it illegal for banks to do business with crypto, they would, for all intents and purposes, shut down cryptocurrency to the extent that it wouldn't be usable. The value, it wouldn't be very usable. The value would collapse until the day came that people did not trust their governments and they were actually looking to do an actual revolution. And then there's a possible use case that Bitcoin may be used in that scenario for currency. So they're both they both may be extreme examples, but I do think it's far more likely that the government could come up against 
uh, cryptocurrency. I actually saw an article earlier that said that one of the large, um, some large financial institution was uh, encouraging central banks basically to make fiat currency more digitally cool, basically. Um, which to me just means that they're, they're not looking to adopt Bitcoin. They're looking to create the U.S. crypto coin or the U.K. crypto coin. Countries create their own quote-unquote cryptocurrencies in that manner. Which, again, gets away. That makes cryptocurrency, that brings back centralization to cryptocurrency. Um, where a large government of some sort is going to control it, issue it. And then you're no better off. In that case, then you are with fiat or paper money. But anyway, I think this overall is great news. One more, I mean, the CEO says he thinks it's turned the corner in terms of mainstream acceptance. Um, another large, very large exchange, potentially getting one step closer to providing crypto to fiat exchanges for retail customers on their platform. And th I think overall, this is just great, great, great news. Hey, if you like this content, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.